Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to solve an equilibrium problem. So our problem statement says, a T-shaped bracket supports the four loads shown. Determine the reactions. So we have to determine the reactions at A and B. If this distance A, which is this small distance A, is given by 10 inches, and if it is also seven inches, how are we going to get the support and the reactions at B and that of A? So straight away, we have to start our analysis. So let's get started. First, we have to draw the free body diagram for the structure so that we can analyze it well. So this is our solution and the free body diagram for the entire system. So we can represent the structure this way. So we have it this way, nicely drawn. So let's have our structure this way. Let's have our first force, which is the 10 pound force. Our second force, which is we have it this way, the 30 pound force. And we have our fourth or third force this way, which is the 50 pound force. And we have our last one, which represents the 40 pound force. So now looking at the A section, we have a support system, which is a ruler so meaning a ruler is going to give us a single reaction so a single reaction so meaning this is going to be a downward reaction from the ruler and it is at point we will call it a and the structure at b so here the structure continues to this point is part of it are you okay so it's part of it we are going to have it this way We can continue with our diagram. At B, we have support system. And this is a lock pin or a pin reaction in which we are going to get to both the horizontal, which is, I'll call it B in the X direction, and the vertical one. I'll call it B in the Y direction. We have the measurements given. So this point is six. They are all in inches. The distance between this is also six inch. We have this as distance A. And the distance here is also eight inches. So this represents our free body diagram. So right from here, we can do the analysis to find the reactions if we have A to be 10 inches and seven so let's apply all our equations. You know that we are going to apply this. Summation of forces on the x is equal to zero. Summation of forces on the y is equal to zero. And we will take moment about a specific point. Are we okay? And equate it to zero. So first, I will say from the summation of force on the x, which is equal to zero. Now I will choose to my positive x as positive any force in this direction is going to be positive so when we look at the diagram meaning we are having only bx force to be equal to what? zero this is our equation one then we can also take moments so from here you take moment at a place where we have more unknown forces so looking at the b section where we have two reactions unknown i can take moment about point b such that any force going anti-clockwise about the point b will be positive and i will quit everything to zero so now let's look at how we can get our moment starting from the first force which is the a the a is going to go in an anti-clockwise direction about the point b so meaning moment is the force which is force a multiplying the distance from A to 
the point moment point is six inches plus six inches that is going to give us 12 are you okay so we have that one we can also see that we have another force plus the 40 ib force and the distance is also going to be so this is 40 by to the moment point six they are all in one anti-clockwise direction about the point b now when you check for this 50 force it has no moment about this point because it is passing through the moment what center there's no distance between the line of action of the force and the moment center are you okay so now we will move to the 30 ib force and this force is going to move what clockwise about this point so we are going to negate it so that's going to be negative 30 that's the force multiplying the distance from the moment center to the force that is the point a we have it over there we also have this force the 10 which is going to be also negative because it is moving clockwise so that is going to be 10 multiplying the distance now from the moment center to this part is going to be this part is a and we have a so that is going to be multiplying a plus eight as the distance are you okay everything should give us zero now this is mathematics i'm going to get 12 a this is going to be plus this is 240 minus 30 a minus 10 a and minus 80 should give me zero if i want to group i'm going to get 12 a equal to i'll send the rest to the other side of the equation so that is going to give me 30 a plus 10 a and that is negative 240 plus 80 and that is going to have a to be equal to when you solve you are going to get 40 a minus 160 all divided by 12 so this is our equation i'll call it equation 2 in terms of a so we have this equation now what do you say again we can also take another moment why did we not include the force by and bx in the equation because they all pass through the moment center and with that they are all going to be one zero are you okay so let's try to also take moment about the point a so this is point a i'm going to take moment about point a so summation of moment about point a such that anti-clockwise is also positive is equal to zero so this is going to give us now let's analyze it again we are going to take the forces one by one so we are taking moment about this point a so you can see that from here our 40 is going to be clockwise and we are taking anti-clockwise to be positive so that means we are going to get negative 40 what is the distance multiplying 6 the next force which is the 50 is also going clockwise that is negative 50 by the distance the total distance now it will be 12. you also consider the 30 force which is also going clockwise this way and that is going to be 6 plus 6 12 plus a so it is going to be the force which is negative 30 multiplying the distance 12 plus a now we have this 10 force which is also going to be 6 plus 6 plus a plus 8 so that is also going to be negative the force 10 and we are going to have multiplying the distance a plus 20 then we are going to have the forces here remember we have by bx here and we have by so what 
we are doing is we already know that bx is equal to zero so we don't need to even take a moment the force multiplying by any distance is going to be zero so we are not going to consider so we have by to consider and what is the distance from here to the line of action of the force that is 12 and it is moving anti-clockwise so that is going to be positive so plus our by multiplying the distance 12 should give me zero are you okay so we can also simplify this equation and get it in terms of by so let's look at it so meaning when i simplify that equation i'm going to get my negative 240 and the negative 600 i'm also going to get negative 360 negative 30a you can expand it and negative 200 plus 12by should give me z so here i am going to get it as now my 12by when you sum all these terms this plus this plus this and plus that and take it to the other side you're going to get 1400 and the a part is also going to give you negative 40 when you take it to the other side you're going to get positive 40 a meaning by is going to be 1400 plus 40 a everything on 12 so this is going to be my equation three remember from the previous slide our a is also giving us 40 a minus 160 on 12 that was equation 2 so now the reactions we have reaction bx we have reaction by and we have reaction what a these are the three reactions these two were from the pin and this a is from the ruler already this is up to zero so we are interested in by and the a so we have a in terms of an equation involving small letter a and we have by also in an equation involving small letter a and our interest is to find the reaction when a we have our small a to be equal to 10 inch so when a is equal to 10 inches then our equation or reaction a is going to be 40 multiplying 10 minus 160 on 12 meaning our reaction for that place is going to give us 20 ib force which is pound force and the direction is what downwards are you okay the same way if it is 10 our by is going to be from the equation we have thousand 400 plus 40 multiplying 10 everything on 12 and that is going to give us our by to be 150 ibn force and that force is also upwards we can look at the b part which says when a is equal to 7 inches Let's also look at the reaction. The same way A is going to be from the equation 2, we are going to get 40 by 7 minus 160, everything on 12. And this is going to give us 10 pound force, which is direction. Now the B, which is the BY, is also going to be 1,400 plus 40 by 7 everything on 12 and that is also going to give us 140 pound force and it is still output so you can see that with different dimensions of a we are getting different reactions are you okay so basically this is the solution to the problem first we can express them in terms of a then put in the values of a straightforward once you are done thank you for watching this episode subscribe to the channel like and drop 
your comment check out the next episode for the next example